Hey everyone, welcome back, my luxury stories. So today's video, as you can see from the title, is slightly different um, than normal um, you know, content I produce. Um, I wouldn't really discuss this topic. Um, I feel it could be a little sensitive and subjective, of course, but um, I wanted to come out here and discuss it today because I personally think that some of these prices that have increased are just crazy there it's it's absolutely um, shocking to see um, the price increases I would have not thought that more than five or ten percent would have been increased but with some of these pieces as you can see um, we're talking about a good 25 percent increase in the increment increase all right so I'm not gonna go in any particular order and I am also not going to state the difference in the US dollars. I will be talking about the difference in Singapore dollars. But what I wanted to bring out was the percentage increase. So the price that was there before this price increase and the price that is there um, uh, like right now after the price increase which happened on the 7th of January. Right, so it, there's a long list. Now, um, please keep in mind the prices have increased on all monogram items, right? I am just discussing the popular lot here with you guys. Um, I'm not talking about the Speedies or the Neverfulls or, um, you know, some of the other bags. I'm talking about, I will be talking about the most popular bags, like as you can see, the Pochette Matisse, the Pochette Accessoire, and the rest of the items are more small leather goods, which I feel, being more popular, have had the more percentage increase. Right. So let's first start off with the clay. The, now this being the smallest piece in all of these has had a significant increment, right? So this was around 310 Singapore dollars and has now gone up to 370. So that's around a good 20% that we're talking about. Um, I, I, I can't say if you know it's worth it or not. Some of these items, I would definitely pay the price um, that they're asking for currently. But now there are some items on my wish list which I will double think about. I'll come to those at the end. Right, so next let's discuss the Toiletry 26 as I have right here. I bought this um, last year in May um, for my birthday. So this was around 710 Singapore dollars and it has now gone up to 785 Singapore dollars. You're talking about an almost 11% of an increase. So that's around 10.5%, but almost 11 Next comes in the Twilight 319, which I do not have. And that was $635. It has now gone up to $735 Singapore dollars. We're talking about a good 16% increment here. Um, I am, I, it, the Twilight 319 is actually on my wish list. Um, I'm not sure now um, for the kind of quality that they're producing, if I do want to still own that piece. Um, in the last six months, I've actually returned a couple of toiletry 19s because the inside canvas, the inside canvas which is lined, um, that's that's lined inside the the toiletry pouch. I have an organizer here filled with stuff. Otherwise, I just show you. But I'm talking about the inside lining that's like in here at the bottom. That would be peeling off, like literally peeling off. I would be able to see the yellow glue. And I have shared this with the uh, Louis Vuitton, you know, um, client service team that not once, not twice, but like it's happened three or four times and it needs to come to their attention that they cannot be giving a customer a piece where the canvas is coming out and the glue is apparent. So for the kind of quality that's coming out with specifically with, which I've seen with these toiletries in the past six, eight months, I'm not sure if I'm ready to pay them that amount of money. Subjective, I think it, I need to probably be able to see the piece in store. You know, I would think about it if I do find, you know, a clean, a perfect piece. But so far, I'm not going to pay that kind of money for the quality that they're bringing out. Right, the next is a toiletry 15. I think that's seen a pretty good um, price rise too. It was around 570 Singapore dollars. It is now 670, which makes it an almost 18% increment in the price. Again, toiletry 15, I have come across 
three to four pieces. I saw some in store. I ordered one or two online and the canvas lining inside the toiletry was all coming out. The glue, the yellow glue was sticking out and much to my surprise, a couple of client advisors in the boutique, what I would show them would be like, oh, we have no idea what you're talking about. I mean, the glue is like apparent and how could you not know what I'm talking about? Luckily, I found an excellent 20, toiletry 26. It is like perfect. All the canvas is like um, stuck inside properly. Um, anyway, let's move on. Um, the Kirigami pouch right here. I love this piece. I was after this piece for the longest time. Um, I did come across a couple of them in, st in the boutique as well, but they had a lot of glazing issues. Um, but I, I, this one I got online and um, it is a perfect piece. Um, I, I'm using the other two so they're not here with me. Um, this I feel should have, you know, had the, the price should have increased probably a longer, like, like much longer ago, but they, they did not do that. And now the price has gone from 980 Singapore dollars to 1,020 Singapore dollars. So that's just a 4% increase in the price. And um, even if I were paying $1,000 for this, I would be okay with it because you're getting three sizes and all three sizes are useful for something or the other. Plus it is so beautifully lined with, you know, their, um, with with uh, these different leather colors and i have a made in france piece and it's the craftsmanship is just perfect so absolutely no complaints there i will come to the pochette accessoire right at the end because this and the mini pochette i want to you know kind of discuss um a couple of things about these right okay moving along let's go on to the cosmetic case now i have the cosmetic case in the pm size i am looking for it in the gm size oops i think i've dropped something uh, i am looking for it in the gm size as well but right now the um, pm size has increased um uh, as well a good a, a good increment so that's almost a 15 percent it was around 650 singapore dollars it has now become 750 singapore dollars and the gm size has gone up very significantly it was around 865 dollars and has now become 915 dollars so both these pieces have seen a significant increment i'm not sure now if i want to be, be paying around a thousand singapore dollars for a cosmetic case and a cosmetic case that i would as mind you be using in traveling so it would definitely be getting dirty right the interior i know is definitely wipeable i do have some morga inserts in here to keep them all nice and um, i don't even want to like touch the like leather line where right? I, I just want to keep it like in, in most pristine condition as i can um, but paying almost a thousand dollars for a cosmetic case, I don't know. I'm gonna have to really think about it. It has to really sell to me for me to now be paying so much money, right? Um, I don't know. So anyway, that's like I said, the um, cosmetic case in the PM size. Right. Moving right along, I want to now discuss um, the pochette Matisse. The pochette Matisse I got hold of last year. Um, for my birthday and I paid around it was if, if I'm not mistaken if my memory serves me correct it was around a 25 40 Singapore dollars right um, the price then jumped up to 27.20 and now their current retail price is 2900 Singapore dollars which means there is a 7% increment from the last uh, price jump that there that they that they did um, I don't think it's that bad considering how popular the bag is um, you know, I find these uh, to be more expensive on the resale market. And um, if I think Louis Vuitton is just asking for a 7% price increment, I really don't think it's that bad. Um, like I said, the resale market, people have been selling this for so much more. I have seen this sell for at least, I believe, $500 more on Fashion File and, um, like, than, than retail. And that's just crazy and um i've been loving it so far i i think it's it's popular for the, all the right reasons it's the right size it's so functional i've sprayed my vachetta with an apple guard so you can see it's all nice and clean i live in singapore and it rains like crazy here it rains cats and dogs almost like every day nowadays at least and it is up 
absolutely perfect. There is not a single water stain on this and I have carried this in the rain. All my uh, protective stickers are intact. So it's coming along quite nicely and I have been thinking of adding um, the reverse in the same style because I do um, use this bag a lot. So um, yeah, uh, not a bad increment at all. I think 7% is quite decent. Right, I think next let's discuss the um, mini pochette. Right, so I had mentioned this in my previous video. I, uh, the first or one of the first videos that I, I did on your channel, I'd not seen this one in person at all. I, I, I used to hear so much about the mini pochette, oh, the mini pochette is so good, it's so functional, it's so handy. I'd watch a lot of YouTubers talk about how they'd use it every single day. I was like, okay, there, I mean, I'm sure there's something to it. I didn't really understand the overhype until I, you know, got this in my hand. I was really lucky to snag this online during the lockdown because all the pieces were available online. And um, this, my sales associate online here, who I deal with, um, uh, she, I'll, I'll link her details down below for anyone who's interested in contacting her, um, uh, you know, in Singapore. She's my um, online, my phone client advisor, and she, she's just brilliant. So she, she called me when this came back into stock here. So I snagged this one up too, and I am glad I snagged this one up. Besides the toiletry, I think, uh, yeah, besides the toiletry, this was the other piece I was absolutely shocked about. They increased it by more than a hundred Singapore dollars. So we're talking about a good almost 23% increase in the price. That's insane. I mean, I do I do understand why there is a hype for them. It's really functional. I use the I use both my pieces, right? And the, I mean it's either this one or this one. So it's like oh matchy matchy with all my other slgs um and again i do keep organizers inside so that i don't stain the cloth because i know it's not wipeable but um i mean having to pay now more than 600 singapore dollars for this i mean i we used to be able to get the toiletry 19 and that and that was a much definitely double the size of this right so you were definitely getting more canvas and more space for your items um i i I don't know I maybe buy one for that kind of money but I mean I, I was able to get two and I got these over a period of like six eight months so five hundred dollars each at that time did not seem bad at all but now um, I mean I'm not gonna add dummy or Azor for sure but I mean it's a lovely piece so I would definitely encourage everyone to get one but probably just add one if the price you know doesn't hurt you that much because I'm sure probably by the end of the year they would definitely what, bring it up by another 10 12 percent i don't know think about it how much you love it right and last but certainly not the least the price that got my attention and made me want to do this video with you guys okay wait, it's stuck right let's just pull it up from this line of monogram items that i have right here right the Pochette accessoire. Oh my god, this this was long coming by the way. For the amount of popularity this piece has, this was long due coming. So there's a little story behind this which I'll share with you guys. I was not looking for this for myself at all, right? Yeah, I know. It's kind of like unthankful for me to say that because you know half the world is running after this piece. But I was not looking for this for myself at all. I had actually bought this for my mother and um, I had bought this for her last year in May and um, with the amount of space it has and this is another, some more, I have another in, uh, organizer inside. I keep that for the shape because I feel like this might lose its shape so if I'm not using it I, I stuff it with an organizer. So yeah, uh, back to the story. I bought this for my mom in May of last year and I couldn't travel so I couldn't go back home and I could not give this to her and um, it'd been lying in my closet for from May to November so that's like a good six months it was just lying in my closet and um, I, I, I took it out one day and I thought to myself I said you know I think my mom definitely deserves a better or bigger not a better but a bigger size bag because she she does carry a few items even if she's just going out to an event or you know like a dinner 
So I said, I don't think the space is enough for her. So maybe I should look at something else. Okay, well, if I'm looking at something else, why don't I just keep this for myself and give it a shot and see how it goes. So I sprayed the whole, um, you know, the, the Vachetta tab here. I sprayed it as well. And I said, okay, I'll, I'll just carry this to the hospital. My, I remember my son had a vaccination that day. So I carried it to the hospital for the first time. I had all my um, you know, essentials in here. I put my card holder, my sanitizer, some wipes, my mask, my cell phone, my, my AirPods, you know, all my essentials fit in beautifully, right? With or without the organizer. And let me tell you guys, I fell in love with this. I have always been a big girl bag and I have mentioned this time and again and throughout my videos on my channel you will see that I need at least a pochette Matisse size bag that is the least I will carry it has to be at least this big right I can't go with this size no that's just not me right so it's either this big or it's at least this and I fell in love with this piece and I thought to myself that Oh my god this was like this was literally like a gift from god like it was sitting in my closet for the longest time and i thought okay i'm just gonna give it to my mom it's not that i need this you know and um it didn't go to her it stayed with me and i can't tell you how much use i get out of this right and especially when i don't feel like carrying any kind of load on my shoulders um my, my son is just seven months old right now so i have a stroller i have his baby bag i really don't feel like having any kind of extra you know weight on my shoulders I, I just take this and i love it it fits every and it looks so nice it doesn't even look that small actually it, it, it looks pretty already when you're carrying it i thought it'd be quite you know teeny tiny looking but no it's, it's pretty decent and um I, I like i said i can't tell you how many times i use it um the price increment for this is what really caught my attention and like I mentioned earlier is what made me sit down and you know want to talk about these prices and if they're you know worth it or not um, you know my share my list with you guys for some of the wish list items I have this year um, this went up by a good 25% so in Singapore it was for 865 Singapore dollars when I bought it it is now 1080 25% right does it deserve it I absolutely think it does. Would have I bought it at a thousand dollars above? Definitely, I would have. Um, this 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 piece is so functional, and it was a long time coming. And I, I know there has been a couple of price increases on this last year, um, but I still think that the price that we pay for this um, justifies its its you know its usability it is so versatile you can always attach a long crossbody strap to this you can always attach your felici chain on this I, I don't have that yet but i am thinking of getting that as well you know make it a little dressier if i want to um but as it is itself i love i love it and like you can see um there are no water stains on the bachetta i've sprayed this with the apple guard as well and it just looks lovely so yeah i mean these are some of the prices i wanted to discuss with you guys as far as my wish list items um with the small leather goods are you know is concerned i did want to add like i had mentioned the cosmetic case in the gm size but that's almost a ridiculous 915 singapore dollars i don't think i want to pay that much money um it is beautiful it is absolutely beautiful the shape of the cosmetic case is just so feminine with this like half moon um you know design that they've given it fits quite a quite a you know quite a lot and um i i wanted the bigger one for traveling purposes uh, something that i could just keep in my hand carry with all my you know makeup and moisturizers and face wash that i use on the aircraft um but yeah i will think about it um so okay luck next piece the niece bb luckily that's not increased in price here that that that's still the same so that's all right and lastly was the toiletry 19. now the toiletry 19 like i said is long by almost up by a good 16 percent and um with the kind of quality defects i saw um i'm not sure if i want to pay that kind of money unless i find a piece which is absolutely beautiful and you know there's nothing wrong with it no canvas no glue sticking out you know <laughs> I'll, I'll see about the toilet tree 19. Uh, and the last two um small leather goods uh was the card holder so luckily the card holder did not increase in price as well which i thought it would have because it's quite popular 
and um, last but not the least the clay in the monogram is one other piece that I want to add so I do have it in the Damier I mean um, I do think I want to add it in the monogram as well it's pretty handy to carry all the keys I carry all my cards in this one right now um, but yeah maybe in the monogram again this has increased in price too and quite so um, understandable why it is such a popular piece but yeah that that rounds up um, my little discussion on um, the Louis Vuitton uh, price increase this year and I hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe for more luxury related videos and I'll see you in my next one